Did you know that you can have complete access to stories, pictures, and the e-edition at crescentnews.com for just $7 a month? Become an online subscriber to crescentnews.com now by calling me, Abby, at 419-784-5441, extension 233, or visiting the Crescent News online subscribe section on the top right corner of our homepage. It has been 70 years since Ralph Weyrich stormed Omaha Beach on D-Day as part of the 79th Army Division in Normandy, France. He is 96 years old now and living in Defiance, Ohio. He was part of the second wave of troops in the Allied invasion of German-occupied France on D-Day. Weyrich and Company F of the 313th Infantry Division hit the beach around 9 a.m. on June 6, 1944, the day that turned the tide of World War II. We didn't know when we got on the boat that what was going to happen because nobody told anybody. It was pretty much of a secret. And when we got aboard the boat, Captain Lamb called us together and told us, he said, we're in for a hell of a lot of trouble, boys. He said, I don't know how many of you is going to come back, but he said, we're going to invade. And I said, I asked him, I said, well, where are we going? He said, did you ever hear Omaha Beach? I said, no. That's where we're going. I said, well, it'll be a new, new country. You know, I'm just kidding him, and it sure was. But I lost a lot of good friends. The commanding officer, lieutenant, I never can remember his name. It was a funny, odd name, but he was a hell of a nice guy. He was shot, killed going off of the ramp when we went in. That machine gunners got him. And I was in the back because I was platoon sergeant. And all of a sudden I realized that I was the one that was running the outfit then. Because the commanders were all gone. He had the, the ramp on the boat had no more and went into the water and and I heard him say to the fellows, let's go. And bam, just that quick. He took a burst of machine gun. When I went ashore, I strung all along the beach, was part of the first division, or first army, and about 2,000 men were killed. And it was nasty mess, but we had a job to do, and we had to go on to do it. This is awful to lose, lose men that you've been in training with for two or three years, and all of a sudden they weren't there no more. The paratroopers is the one that caught hell. They were hanging in trees and steeples of churches and we had to get them down and they were shot right, coming down. <laughs>